Calvin Klein shock. Did I scare you? Did I shock you? <laughs> I initially heard of Calvin Klein shock through the number one fragrance icon, Mr. Powerful Jeremy Fragrance himself. And when I was walking through my local department store winners, I saw this bad boy for 20 something dollars. And I thought, could this possibly stack up against some of my more expensive fragrances for the winter? Or should I toss this 37 floors off of my balcony into the nearest dumpster? Now let's take the underwear off of this fragrance box and I'll talk a little bit more about the company and I'll get into my first impression. Calvin Klein's mission is as follows. CK1 Shock for Men is a bold expression of the iconic CK1 range with a thrilling and rebellious new side. This eau de toilette is an expression of contemporary style that pushes old boundaries and sets new limits. A fragrance for men who likes to set trends and not fall and was made in Spain. And personally, <laughs> I just think that the bottle looks like an old cough medicine bottle and the Shock logo looks like some Halloween monster blood or something or dripping boogers. <laughs> and also so why no cap? Do you guys like when fragrances do this and you have to screw the atomizer in itself? Now, if you're like me and you do not care what the bottle looks like, let's get into the first impressions. What do I think of the smell of this fragrance? I'm gonna spray it on my wrist. I'm gonna do one spray. Oh, there we go. Okay, took a while. Let's waft it in. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wow. I'm pleasantly surprised. This is really nice. It's definitely a winter fragrance. I'm getting kind of uh, boozy notes, kind of spicy. Like there's a lot of stuff going on here. No, I haven't really gone over the notes of this fragrance because I just wanted to have a non-biased initial impression and not know kind of what to expect from the smell. But let's go over some of the notes. The top notes on this fragrance is lavender, clementine, and cucumber. I definitely get that initial fruity opening. The middle notes are cardamom, pepper, basil, and osmanthus. I would say the pepper is stronger in there. And some of the base notes, which I'll be able to reflect on later, is tobacco, amber, patchouli, woodsy notes, and musk. Needless to say, the name does hold up. I'm quite shocked actually smelling this. I did not expect it to smell as good off of the initial impression. I've been kind of disappointed before off of how bad some of Calvin Klein fragrances perform like they don't usually last that long But needless to say at this point, I'm kind of impressed So I've been wearing Calvin Klein shock for the day I would say that it lasted between four to six hours at the four hour mark It was still quite strong at the five hour mark It started to become a bit more of a skin scent and around the six hour mark It started to disappear completely. I did not expect it honestly to last that long I would say that the sillage or the projection was anywhere between one to two feet, pretty average or intimate, I would say. So when should you be wearing Calvin Klein Shock? In my personal opinion, I think that this is without a doubt a winter fragrance. Being that one of the top notes is lavender, which is also a very sensual, arousing scent, I would say that this is also a date fragrance. That coupled with the fact that this is a very average to intimate projection, that kind of confirms to me that this was intended. Should you wear this during the daytime or the night? Well, I would say I would gravitate more towards the nighttime, but I've worn this during the day and it smelled great and it, it's fitting for any time. Honestly, should you buy Calvin Klein Shock in 2022 or 2023? I think that the answer is without a doubt, yes. Especially if you can find it for a very affordable discounted price like I did. If I was to rank this on a scale of one to 10, I would say an eight. The only reason I'm not giving it a nine is because I think that the performance in the colder climates of a Canadian winter, it might not perform as well. I think that it is 100% an amazing budget fragrance that you should add to your collection. If you want something cheap, you're not gonna go wrong with this. And make sure you check the link in the description because I post the cheapest links that I can find to these fragrances. That'll always be in the description. Now, if you wanted something that will last you a bit longer in the harsh winters and is a little bit more expensive, I would recommend going with Azaro The Most Wanted Parfum. And if you wanna see a full review on that, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe for more non-biased, non-sponsored fragrance reviews. And I'll see you over there.